close to close historical volatility calculation, volatility analysis in Python. In a previous post, we touched upon a stock's volatility through its beta. In this post, we are going to discuss historical volatilities of a stock in more details. Also referred to as statistical volatility, historical volatility gauges the fluctuations of underlying securities by measuring price changes over predetermined periods of time. It is the less prevalent metric compared to implied volatility because it isn't forward looking. When there is a rise in historical volatility, a security's price will also move more than normal. At this time, there is an expectation that something will or has changed. If the historical volatility is dropping, on the other hand, it means any uncertainty has been eliminated, so things return to the way they were. There are various types of historical volatility such as close to close, Parkinson, Garmenkias, Yang Zhang, etc. In this post, we will discuss the close to close historical volatility. The close to close historical volatility is calculated as follows. CCHV equals 1 slash N underscore I equals 1 NX underscore I squared. Where 11 are the logarithmic returns calculated based on closing prices, and N is the sample size. In this example, N equals 22, the average number of trading days in a month. We implemented the above equation in Python. We downloaded SPY data from Yahoo Finance and calculated the close to close historical volatility using the Python program. The picture on our website shows the close to close historical volatility of SPY from March 2015 to March 2020. It's observed that the volatility is a mean reverting process. The close to close historical volatility has the following characteristics Advantages It has well understood sampling properties. It is easy to correct bias. It is easy to convert to a form involving typical daily moves. Disadvantages It is a very inefficient use of data and converges very slowly. Go to our website to download the Python program.